Hello motherfuckers, welcome back to my motherfucker channel. Today we are going to be reacting to Real Love by Kevin Rose. I'm really excited about this because for the next three days, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm going to be uploading a just a short video of these last three The Beatles songs that you guys told me about. And this is it. After this, I'm done with the music for The Beatles. But next week, I'm going to be uploading two last videos for The Beatles, my top 20 favorite The Beatles songs, and the a video to just cap off this era. It's going to be titled The End of My Beatles Era Series, whatever. Um, so I'm excited about that. And I'm excited about this, this week. So let's just stay in this week. I just wanted to give you guys a rundown of what's going on these next couple days. Let's get into it. Okay. Okay. Okay, that was really fucking good. You know, I didn't know what to expect because I don't know when these were dropped. I don't know. I do know when the last one that was going to come out on Friday was dropped. It was dropped a few years ago or months ago, something like that. But I'm pretty sure this one was dropped a while ago. Okay, like a while ago. Um, And gag, bitch. It sounded like it was dropped a while ago in a good way. Okay, first of all, let's just talk about those vocals. On that song very um how do I say gag <laughs> because I just love when the Beatles whichever Beatles on a song when they use that um it sounds like a distortion di distortion dis dissolute it's like distorted okay their vocals are distorted and it just makes it sound very artistic and very um like next level i just I, me personally i love music like that when the vocals can be distorted but not in a way that it's just unlistenable that that's perfect to me right there because it reminds me of one of my favorite artists of all time tame impala he is a new aged artist and I can just tell. After listening to all the albums from the Beatles, I can tell. Like, I see multiple artists from my era that are inspired by the Beatles, you know? Even if they don't even know that they are, they fucking are, okay? So it's just like, I go. But the concept of the song itself just, ooh, I love. I love, you know, um, I've already said this millions of times listening to the Beatles that their love songs just really, it does it for me. Okay. I love their fun songs. I love their, you know, funky songs, but their love songs are really heartfelt and just soulful and just done really well. Okay. Delivered really well. And that was one of them. It's real love. You know, he's been waiting for a long time for this. You don't need to be afraid. It's real love. Sometimes you don't know if it's real love, but when you know, you know, okay? And that's just what it was giving me. That was a really fucking good, fucking good fucking song. And I'm glad I'm doing this because next week when I do my top 20 favorite The Beatles songs, it'll be, maybe this might be in it. I don't know. Um, Cause there's a lot to choose from and a lot of gags, okay? But this was a gag, all right? If this was like, 
if this was a part of an album, this would definitely be in my top five, all right? Um, I just want to say that. But, yeah, I guess that's it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for free as a bird, okay? Um, but I guess that's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and bye, motherfuckers. Thank you.